We started off 2013 as we usually do in beautiful Japan, my hometown of Tokyo. And we also went to my mother's hometown of Kumamoto. It was a beautiful but very cold January. And then, in a sudden tragic turn of events, we lost our very close friend JJ in the front left corner of this picture. He was the kindest person I'd ever met. There was a random gig on Extra. <laughs> and then, on a whim, I decided to fly out to Bali with my best friends and celebrated my birthday like a champ. <laughs> By the ocean. Looking at the gorgeous sky and sometimes peering over walls that maybe I wasn't supposed to be peering over, but it was just so fascinating, I couldn't look away. And then it was time to put my magician's cap back on and head back into the studio to record some new songs. I can truly say that the studio is where I am the happiest, creating music. And then we flew back to Japan again to see my grandma and. Cheer her on at the hospital and during her physical therapy. She's gonna be 96 this year. And then we took a bus up to the beautiful and very active volcano, Aso, which then led us to a very, very hidden but gorgeous hot springs called Kurokawa Onsen. And then my favorite trip of the year, Ireland. I'm still trying to wrap my brain around how much beauty I saw in one place. We met long lost cousins, shook hands with the mayor, and even made the local paper. It's kind of cool. Oh, yeah, and then、uh, there was this gig for this guy. You know, Bill. <laughs> and then we headed over to Yosemite, my favorite place on earth. And then I had to say goodbye. To my loyal friend of 14 years, Misty. I know she's probably in heaven somewhere, but I still feel like she's here with us all the time. So cute! I miss her so much. I quietly released an album called Winter Fields, had an amazing, glorious dinner with the Digby Hollicks, and then had a very quiet, lovely. Christmas with my family. I hope you guys had an amazing 